Greetings everybody and welcome to part one of my seven day Sedai tutorial on everything to do with blocks. So in this part of the tutorial I'm going to be covering all the common building blocks that you're going to use to make your base from wood all the way up to steel and I'm going to be covering all the upgrade paths and pretty much all the resources you're going to need to upgrade your blocks and make them stronger and we're going to be doing some comparisons on you know what the cheapest way is to make steel because as you progress throughout the game you won't always want to start with wood blocks and upgrade it through the many stages to get to steel as you can see on the left side of the diagram. Eventually you're going to be wanting to craft rebar and concrete directly as you can see on the right of the diagram here which is in fact a lot cheaper but we're going to go through all the comparisons and I'm going to show you you know how to place blocks how to upgrade them and pretty much just how to build stuff. Now this isn't going to cover every single block in the game I'm sure there's some that I have missed out so you know bear with me on that but it's just a in general guide on all the common blocks that you're likely to find and use. So without any further Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial and we'll be starting with the tools you're going to need to upgrade blocks. Alrighty guys, the first thing we're going to do is look at how you can craft your first frame. And it's actually really easy. All you need to do is collect uh, 10 wood, so just go chop down a tree. And then if you come into your crafting menu and just type wood frame, this will probably be the first block that you build with. So I'm just going to go and craft. Now for me, I've for the purposes of this tutorial, I've maximised out all my skills. So I'll be crafting this very quickly, but it'll probably take your character about 10 seconds to... Uh, craft one of these blocks. Now once you've crafted them you can pretty much place them down wherever you like. So all you have to do is just look you'll see a silhouette of the block where it's going to be placed right click it and down it goes. Now if you've placed the block incorrectly the good thing about frames is you can just pick them straight back up again and they'll pop right back into your inventory like this. So let me just place that one back down again. Now once you've got your block placed down we're going to need to work out how we can upgrade this thing and it's actually really easy so let me come over to my chest over here because I'm going to show you all the tools that you can use to upgrade your blocks. Now the first tool you can use is your stone axe so we're going to get that one out here and essentially with your stone axe equipped this is going to be the first thing you craft um, in seven days to die most likely because the first quest will show you exactly how it's done you just need some wood some plant fiber and some stones two of each and you'll be able to craft one of these from your inventory once you've crafted the stone axe if you come to any block that's upgradable if you have got the resources to upgrade the block just right click on it and you'll see that I managed to upgrade the block into its next stage. Now you can upgrade blocks more than once, especially the wood one, so we can go about and upgrade this again. And you'll see on the right that it shows you how much of the resource has been used to upgrade the block. And we can keep going with this, so eventually I can upgrade it to some iron reinforced wood, and you can see now it's starting to use iron. So as you go up the block tiers, it will take uh, different resources to upgrade the blocks. So this is the stone axe, but you can also use other tools to upgrade your blocks. So eventually you're going to start to realise that using the stone axe is pretty slow. So what you're going to want to do is you're either going to want to go out and find yourself a wrench, which is very useful for other things besides upgrading blocks, or if you have a forge, you might have already read a wrench schematic. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and read that and give myself the skill. And then once you've read the wrench schematic, you'll be able to craft the wrench with a recipe. Um, so I have a wrench in here. Now the wrench is better than the stone axe because you can upgrade the block with only two hits. And as you can see, I've upgraded it just with two, like that. So it's a lot quicker than the stone axe. So let's go back here. Now the third tool that you're going to want to use is the hammer. Again, there is a claw hammer schematic that you can read before you can craft it. But sometimes you can find these in like working stiffs boxes. And I believe the lumberjack zombie might drop this. Don't quote me on that. I'm not entirely sure. So your results may vary. But I know you can find these in working stiffs boxes kind of rarely but you can definitely find these in cracker bookshelves and just regular bookshelves and in some filing cabinets you should be able to find these easily so i'm just going to read the schematic as well and then you'll be able to craft the uh, claw hammer now the claw hammer is even better than a wrench because instead of taking two hits to update it just takes the one just like that see nice and easy now the last one you can find is the nail gun and now you can't craft this you can only find it 
So I'm just going to take this from my inventory right here, just drop it in here, and we're going to do a speed test of how quick each of these are to upgrade some blocks. So you can see that I've got four stacks here, and it's one for each tool. So first of all, let's try with the stone axe. So as you can see, it's not too bad, but it's kind of slow. So let's do the second one with the wrench. That was much faster. Now let's try the hammer. That was really fast. And what could possibly be better than the hammer is the nail gun, because watch this. Done. So the nail gun is pretty much the uh, the best thing for building and upgrading blocks in the game. You can find nail guns in cars, and I think you can find them in working stiffs, tools, crates as well. So they're not very common. They're a pretty rare drop. You can't craft them either but you will be able to find them sooner or later. So that's pretty much how you place and how you upgrade blocks. So let's look into all the different block upgrade paths and how you can upgrade them to steel. So over here, you can see I've got a lot of different ones, uh, which is pretty much this diagram over here expanded out. And I'm gonna show you all the individual steps on how you can do it. So without any further ado, let's go to the wood frame and see how we can upgrade that to steel. Okay guys, the first block we're going to look at is probably the first one that you're going to end up building in the game, which is the wood frame. So we've already seen how to craft the wood frame, and if you've forgotten already, then it's right here. All you need is 10 wood, you put that in your crafting, and you'll get one wood frame back out of it. You place that wood frame down, and then we can start upgrading things. So we've already seen that the wood frame can be upgraded into a regular wood block, if you apply 10 wood to it when you have a construction tool in your hand. So you right click on a wood block a few times with a construction tool and 10 wood in your inventory and you will get the wood block. Now you can actually reinforce this to get a reinforced wood block. Now by doing that it's exactly the same as before. So so far just using a wood you can then use 10 more wood to reinforce that into the reinforced wood block. So so far we've used 30 wood to get from here to here. Now these blocks are pretty good they have 500 hit points each um, when a zombie breaks this, it will downgrade into this one, and when they break it, it will downgrade into the wood frame, and when they break that, it's destroyed. So, for very, very early game defense, reinforced wood is pretty good. However, if you have a bit of iron on you, you can actually reinforce this a little bit further to turn it into the iron reinforced wood. And it's actually quite cheap. It only costs four scrap iron, and you can then turn a reinforced wood block into an iron reinforced wood block, which is pretty cool. So when zombies break this one, it will downgrade to this one, then this one, and then this one. So it's pretty good. Now, when you start progressing in the game, you're going to find that you're going to have a lot more iron. So when you start mining and things like that, get your mining tools up a little bit, you'll have a bit more iron to use. So you can actually upgrade these reinforced wood blocks into scrap iron blocks. And it's still quite cheap, it only costs 8 scrap iron, and you'll turn it into one of these scrap iron blocks. And if you do exactly the same again, just upgrading it once more, you can then turn it into a reinforced scrap iron block. Now these ones, when a zombie hits these, they will first downgrade into the scrap iron blocks. Now when the zombie hits these ones, they don't downgrade into the wood ones. They actually downgrade into a scrap iron frame. We're going to see that a little bit later, but then once they hit the scrap iron frame, then that will be destroyed completely. So these blocks are also harder for zombies to break because they're made of metal as well. So although they might have collectively less hit points than all of these wood together, actually, they are harder for zombies to break. I believe zombies do about half the amount of damage to iron blocks as they would to the wood ones. So that is the iron ones. Now up to this point, all we've needed to do is pretty much place down a frame, right click on it a few times with the appropriate resources in our hand, and we get to the scrap iron. But when you want to start going to concrete and steel, there's a few extra steps involved. But don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly how these are done. So let's look at concrete. Now before you actually unlock the concrete recipe, you're going to need your construction tools skill at level 20. Once you've got it at level 20, you'll be able to buy the concrete mixing perk. And believe me, when you're upgrading all the blocks and things like that, it's going to level up pretty quickly. So you won't be having to wait that long until you get to the concrete. So it's not bad. Now, to actually make concrete, the first thing you have to do is make cement mix. Now, to make cement mix, you just need a forge. So go out and kill a few animals and things, and you'll get a forge eventually. Place that down and start melting up some stone in there. Once you've melted up some stone, one stone will give you one cement. 
And then what you can do to actually get the concrete mix out of that, you can take two stones, one crushed sand and one cement, and you'll get the concrete mix. Now to upgrade your reinforced scrap iron block into a concrete block, you just need 10 concrete mix. So as before, just right click on it with your construction tool and 10 concrete mix in your inventory, and you'll get one of these. Now these are great because they've got 3000 hit points. However, when a zombie destroys it, the actual block gets destroyed. But don't worry, you can actually reinforce it a little bit further. Now once you've got um, the concrete block, do exactly the same again. So craft 10 of these cement mix, and then you're going to want to craft 10 of these concrete mix. So it's going to require 10 of these, 20 of these, and 10 of these. And you'll get 10 of these concrete mix. And when you upgrade this, it will turn into poured concrete. So let me just uh, go and show you what happens here. So as you can see, I've got a nice big block of concrete behind me. Once you have enough concrete mix, if you right click on these, you'll see it turns into poured concrete. Now, when you upgrade stuff to poured concrete, you want to be very careful. The reason is poured concrete has less hit points than the regular concrete. So this has 1500 hit points, whereas this has 3000. So you're probably thinking, you know, why do I want to upgrade it to this when it's actually going to be a bit worse? Well, once you've upgraded it to this, you need to allow it time to dry. So currently this is poured concrete and it's currently drying. It will take a couple of a couple of in-game hours to dry. I'm not sure exactly on how the time varies, but there is a little bit of variance. So although I did this one first and that one last, this one might dry before that one. It, it, it takes a little bit of time. Some, some of them will stay wet for quite a while. Just make sure there's no zombies in the area at the time, and definitely don't do this before a horde night, otherwise you're going to find that they break through this really easily. But once you've waited for it to dry, it will turn into reinforced concrete, and reinforced concrete has 6,000 hit points, which is absolutely brilliant. So this had 3,000, and then by crafting that and waiting, and doing a little bit of upgrades, you'll get 6,000 hit points. So this is a brilliant block for use in bases and stuff. It can withstand hordes pretty easily. It's great. Now, the last one you can do is steel. Now, before you can make steel, you're going to need your steel smithing perk. Now, to get your steel smithing perk, you're just going to need construction tools at level 40. So by the time you've crafted enough concrete and done a lot of upgrading, you'll be able to unlock the steel perk. So it comes pretty quickly, especially if you just go around whacking things with your stone axe or your hammer and things like that. You can get your construction tools up pretty fast. So to make one lump of steel or one forged steel here, all you're gonna to need to do is place your forge down. Then you have some scrap iron and some clay. Two of those each melts down into one of these forged steel. Now what you have to do is make 10 of those. Once you've got 10 of the forged steel, you can then upgrade your concrete block, your reinforced one, directly into a steel block. There's no need to wait for it to dry this time, it's just a regular straight upgrade. And these things are brilliant, they have 10,000 hit points. So again, another step up from the concrete ones. So when a zombie hits a steel block, once it destroys the steel block, which is going to take a very very long time, they do much less damage to steel blocks than they do to concrete and wood. Once they break through that, it will actually turn back into the reinforced concrete block. So, although this only has 10,000 hit points, this has another 6,000. So, you, so far you've got these two together make 16,000. But when the zombie breaks through this one, it will turn back into your regular concrete. So, essentially, a steel block will give you 19,000 hit points. So, a zombie has to break through this, and this, and this, in order for them to actually break through the block. So... Steel is definitely a brilliant block to make in the game. So let's look at what it's going to cost you overall to upgrade a wood frame to steel. So once you have all your crafting and stuff done, you're going to need 30 wood, 20 iron, 20 concrete mix, and 10 steel. This isn't taking into account the wood you're going to need to uh, fuel your forges or anything like that. This is just base materials. But Remember that concrete mix is crafted with cement, which is also in turn crafted with stones and a bit of sand. So the actual raw materials you're going to need is 30 wood, 40 scrap iron, 60 stone, 20 sand and 20 clay. Once you've got all that together, you'll be able to upgrade a wood block all the way into a steel block without any problems. Once you've done, of course, the appropriate forging and crafting. So that's the wood block. And as you can see, it takes an awful long time to get from there to there. And it's actually pretty costly in terms of the resources. So what we're going to look at now is a little bit of shortcut in, in order to get some of the better blocks. So let's move on to the scrap iron frame. 
Alrighty guys, let's look at the cobblestone frame. So this is another common frame that you may be building with early game in order to make cobblestone. And as you can see, the upgrade path is very quick. Once you've got cobblestone, you can very quickly upgrade it to concrete and to steel. So to make a cobblestone frame, all you need to do is have five wood and one plant fiber, and that'll give you one of these cobblestone frames. Now, upgrading a cobblestone frame to cobblestone takes a few steps, so I recommend that you have at least a wrench before you start doing this, otherwise it's going to take you ages to build a cobblestone wall. Now, why is that? Well, what you have to do is, first of all, you need to make cobblestones. To do that, you just need one small stone and one lump of clay, and then you can make the cobblestone rocks there. Now, if you right-click on the cobblestone frame with four cobblestone rocks a few times, it will fill up the cobblestone frame a little bit. Now, once you click it again with three more, it'll fill it up a little bit more. And then another three will give you the full cobblestone frame. So this actually requires three upgrades in order to turn into the full cobblestone block. So it's quite, cost it's quite costly in terms of time because you have to do a little bit of crafting beforehand and then you have to upgrade this thing three times in order to turn into this. But this is brilliant because it has 1500 hit points. When a zombie destroys it though, it doesn't turn back into a cobblestone frame. It will literally just be destroyed completely. So you're going to probably quite quickly want to upgrade this to concrete. Now to upgrade it to concrete, as usual, it's actually exactly the same as the scrap iron. You're going to need the concrete mixing perk, craft yourself a bit of cement, then use cement, two stone and some sand to turn into the concrete mix, and then directly apply that concrete to the cobblestone and you'll get the concrete block. And then these last two steps are exactly the same. So you're just going to need to turn this into poured concrete and let it dry. And then you'll get the reinforced one. And that's just using 10 more concrete mix. And then just use 10 steel and you will get your steel block once that's all dried out. So let's look at the resource cost for this. So as you can see, this costs one plant fiber, five bits of wood, 10 cobblestone rocks, 20 concrete mix and 10 forged steel. So it's not as expensive, and you can see that if you don't have a lot of scrap iron, but you have more stone, this might be the better way to go. So the last one would cost 39 scrap iron if you wanted to go and upgrade the scrap route, whereas this only costs 20 scrap iron, and it's a lot easier to get wooden plant fibers. So this could be a very viable early game alternative for you. And this time though, it requires 70 small stones and 30 clay rather than 60 and 20, because remember you're actually crafting the uh, cobblestone rocks in addition to crafting the cement and the concrete mix. And then of course your regular 20 sand. So that's how you take a cobblestone frame and upgrade it to steel. Alrighty, the next one I want to look at, now this time we don't have a frame. Uh, this time you can actually craft a block directly and this is the flagstone. Now to craft flagstone, it's Pretty similar to cobblestone, just that you don't need a frame. All you need to do is take a small stone and a lump of clay, and then you get your cobblestone rocks, and three of those is very cheap, will give you a flagstone block. Now, flagstone isn't the greatest. The main reason is because it only has 500 hit points, and as soon as a zombie destroys that, it's gone. However, you can upgrade it into an adobe block. Now, to upgrade it into adobe, all you need to do is right click on it with six clay, and you'll get an adobe block. Now the adobe blocks have a thousand hit points, however, they're still quite weak. They're not as good as cobblestone, but if you really haven't got a choice and you know, you're know you either short on wood or plant fibers and things like that, flagstone upgraded to adobe makes a decent defense, but it only has 1000 hit points. And as soon as a zombie destroys the adobe block, that's it. And adobe also has a weird repair. So if I just do a bit of damage to this one, to up to repair it, you see that I actually need sand and clay. So it takes a bit more work to repair the adobe as well. So overall, I wouldn't recommend the flagstone and the adobe over cobblestone, but you can do it. And then of course, the last three are gonna be exactly the same. So you just need to have your concrete perk, make all the concrete mix, let it dry, to turn into the reinforced concrete once you've applied two lots to it. And then you can turn it into steel just by doing the old steel forging. And let's have a look at how much this is gonna cost. So in this one, it's gonna cost you three cobblestone rocks, six clay, 20 concrete mix, and 10 forged steel. So overall, this is gonna cost you 63 small stones, 29 lumps of clay, and then it's gonna cost you 20 iron and 20 sand. So you can see, although this is 
although initially it's worse, in terms of the crafting materials, you actually do save a bit as you don't have to go and use any wood or any plant fibres. Costs a little bit more in clay, but a little bit less in stone. So overall, if you're planning to make concrete this way, then I'd say this is pretty good. Alrighty guys, let's move on to the brick blocks and the brick pavers. Now, to craft either brick blocks or brick pavers, you're going to need the forge. If you melt two stones and 12 clay in your forge, so it's quite, quite costly in terms of clay, you'll end up with bricks or brick pavers. They're exactly the same, so it doesn't matter which one you choose, it just depends what you like better. So I personally prefer the look of the, uh, of the bricks, uh, I just think they look a little bit cooler, but they both have exactly the same stats, same hardness, same amount of hit points, so it doesn't really matter which one you use. Now, essentially, to upgrade these to concrete, it's exactly the same. So you just need to make cement, make your concrete mix, and then either this or this applied to the bricks or the pavers will upgrade them to concrete. So they have pretty much exactly the same upgrade path as before, and then you can upgrade it to reinforced concrete and into steel. So let's have a look at what your total resource cost is going to be for this. So this one is actually slightly cheaper than doing the flagstone. It's a lot slower, but it's slightly cheaper in terms of resources. This time you only need 62 stones rather than 63, and you only need 32 lumps of clay rather than 39. And then you just need 20 sand and 20 iron, and you can upgrade your block all the way into forged steel. So, so far, this is the cheapest way to get forged steel when you're using some early or mid game blocks. In the next part, we're gonna look at the late game alternatives. Alrighty guys, it's now time to look at the late game alternatives. So there are two possibilities you can use late game to craft concrete, and these provide the cheapest and the fastest way to do it. So first of all, let's look at the rebar frame. To make a rebar frame, the first thing you're going to need to do, if you haven't got one yet, you're going to need to make yourself an anvil in the forge. And to make an anvil, you're going to need 40 iron, and four lumps of clay. If you melt those up in the forge, you get your anvil. Now, if you place the anvil in the tool slot of the forge, if you put five scrap iron and one lump of clay in there, you'll get five of these rebar frames. So it's actually very, very cheap to make the rebar frames. It doesn't cost much at all. So to actually get these frames, it's very cheap. It's like, you know, it, this is cheaper than the scrap iron. Now, bear in mind, these rebar frames are very weak. I believe they only have 100 hit points, and as soon as they're gone, they're gone. So in terms of resource cost to hit point ratio, it's about the same. So, moving on, when you place your rebar frame down, you're, you're actually going to need wood again, but upgrade it with 10 wood and you'll get the, uh, the prepared concrete, uh, concrete form master, or a concrete form. Um, and this is essentially a rebar frame with wood around the sides, which is ready to have concrete poured into it. Once you've done that, all you need to do is do your regular concrete recipe. So you're going to need to make some cement mix. Then you're going to need to make some concrete mix and apply 10 of those. But this time it actually upgrades it directly into reinforced concrete. So you actually save a little bit of concrete mix doing the rebar route and then just wait for it to dry and you'll get a reinforced concrete block directly. So you don't actually have to wait around. And then as per usual, just use two clay and two iron in the forge, and you'll get your forged steel. 10 of those will upgrade it straight into your steel block. So let's have a look at what this costs. So doing this, it's gonna cost you um, initially one iron, one lump of clay, 10 wood, 10 concrete mix, and 10 steel. But when we break those down into their base components, it's gonna cost you a lot less stone and sand, which is brilliant. So instead of like 60, it's only gonna cost you 30. Instead of 20 sand, it'll cost you 10. 10 wood, which arguably is easier to get than sand, especially late game, and then iron and clay, you're going to need 21 of each of those, pretty much. But clay is actually more like point, point 0.2, so you're actually going to need 20.2 clay, but I couldn't uh, make it display that number right here. So yeah, this is meant to be point 0.2, and that'll give you 20.2, because remember, um, the 5 iron, 5 iron and 1 clay will make your rebar. So yeah, that's one iron and 0.2 clay. Pretty much there, yeah. I couldn't display that any better on here, unfortunately, but that's pretty much what it's gonna take to craft a complete reinforced concrete and then steel block from your rebar. 
Right, the last thing you can do, guys, is if you're very careful at block placement, you can actually craft concrete directly if you like, without the need to go through any of that stuff over there. You can actually craft concrete straight away. All you need to do is make 10 concrete mix, and if you put that in your crafting inventory, you'll then get 10 concrete blocks. And then, of course, upgrading it is going to be exactly the same. 10 more concrete mix will turn it into poured concrete, dry it to reinforced, and then 10 steel will turn this into a steel block. Now this is probably one of the best and cheapest ways to get it. So you have 60 small stones and 20 sand again, but this time it only costs you 20 iron and 20 clay in order to upgrade it directly into the concrete. Right, the last thing you can do, guys, is if you're very careful at block placement, you can actually craft concrete directly if you like, without the need to go through any of that stuff over there. You can actually craft concrete straight away. All you need to do is make 10 concrete mix, and if you put that in your crafting inventory, you'll then get 10 concrete blocks. And then, of course, upgrading it is going to be exactly the same. 10 more concrete mix will turn it into poured concrete, dry it to reinforced, and then 10 steel will turn this into a steel block. Now this is probably one of the best and cheapest ways to get it. So you have 60 small stones and 20 sand again, but this time it only costs you 20 iron and 20 clay in order to upgrade it directly into the concrete. Okay guys, so that covers our tutorial on how to craft and upgrade all the blocks and turn them all into steel. So I hope you found it useful and you use this knowledge to go out and build some awesome bases. And depending on what resources you have available to you at the time, hopefully this tutorial will allow you to make a good decision on which block you should build and how you should upgrade it in order to make it the best you possibly can. So I know we've covered a bit more about how the blocks degrade as well. So you now know like when a zombie hits a block and enough times what it degrades into hopefully but if you do have any questions and you want me to go over anything be sure to leave me a comment in the video and I'll be sure to answer you as soon as I can and if I don't know then I'll find someone that does and I'll get them to uh, answer your question as well if not there's always the questions section on the uh, fun pimps forums if you haven't been there already so be sure to check that out for other useful advice as well but I hope you found the tutorial useful and I will see you guys in the next one so thanks for watching and I will see you next time Bye!